So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome at the feet and the beginning of the Etna Volcano Mountain. I'm going to show you a lot of videos because that's going to be a beautiful episode. But I have to give you some information. So in the next minutes I will talk and explain and the videos after you will see beautiful scenery and we are going to the top, it will be beautiful. So, we are at the Etna Volcano Mountain. It's being set to be the oldest in the world, with its first volcanic eruption in 1500 BC. This is purely said, of course, because it's based on historical evidence, recorded history. For sure, there were other volcanic volcanic eruptions before, but those are not written in any records. Therefore, they say Etna is the oldest, but not the biggest. Etna Volcano Mount has a height of more than 3,300 meters and can be counted as one of the biggest volcanoes in the world. The biggest one is Mount Loa in Hawaii with a stunning over 9,000 meters, of course counted from the sea bottom. Since the earliest recordings, Etna had more than 200 major eruptions, with its last big eruption in 1992. That made an enormous lava path down to the, to the um, um, mountain until the villages on the feet of the mount. Etna has actually several blasts per year, which is its last one in May 2022 this year. It had a massive 12.5 kilometer high pillar cloud of volcanic ash. Etna has four summit craters, meaning active volcano uh, craters. And it's always smoking. Um, what can I say more? And of course it has a dozens of non-active volcano craters, as well non-active volcanoes, so let's say X-volcanoes, like that one, like that one, like that one, like that one, like those two, like that one, that one, that one, and countless hills that shows eruptions from past uh, events, because most of the volcanoes they explode, erupt only once, and that's it. The same here. That one probably erupted, who knows, thousand years ago, and now it's covered with green. And there you can all see, there's one, there's one, there's one. But now it has still four active craters, and you see it is always smoking. I will zoom in. And to be fair enough, here, sorry. We are going to the lower part where you can see the building on top. So the four active ones, we will see one of them today. Now let me explain a little bit more. Let me explain a little bit more. Now, the southeast crater, that's the one you will gonna see today on my video. It is one of the four active ones. And as per current measurements, and that's not a joke ladies and gentlemen, According to the last measurements and tracking, it has been said that the volcano is slowly filling itself for a next coming uh, eruption. Actually, anytime soon. How does the eruption work? It is the same as a champagne bottle. The more you shake it and the more you fill it, the more it will explode when you pop it open. It's the same with the volcano. So, Etna is a very old word and it's coming from the Greek word Aitne which is derived from the word Aito and it means I burn. 
Now something about the lava. And this is lava stone. Everywhere where you look is lava stone. Everywhere. And this one is very old and it's porous. It breaks apart and you can see it's almost like sand. And the fresh lava, very hard stone, is basalt. Now let me explain you something about that. Lava that cools down until a massive chaotic shaped stone or so-called basalt rock, it's what's left behind after a volcanic eruption. As molten lava flows from the depth of the volcano over the earth's surface, it immediately, immediately begins to cool, changing from a liquid to a solid. So you can imagine, as soon the lava erupts, it is streaming as quick as water. But on the event, it starts to slow down slowly because it starts to cool down. And then it goes as slow as thick honey, up to a maximum of maybe 100 meters per day. That's why people have enough time to leave their houses, because when it erupts, and it comes in the direction of the villages, it takes sometimes days before the lava will reach their houses. So in Sicily, people are used to it and they have all the um, uh, precautions uh, and, and able to leave their house on time. Now, the solid uh, rock that's left behind can be also very soft, like I showed you, very porous. And uh, it is formed from from, a, from the fiery, bubbling, swirling, movie stream, movie, moving streams of lava flow. Now, basalt, or so-called lava stone, is one of the most common rocks formed around land and oceans. Currently, lava rock is estimated over the 8% of the Earth surveys. Um, lava stones come back in many documental historical events. It has been a source of fear, but also energy in many cultures. Because the two prime elements of lava rock are basically earth and fire. And earth is calm and steady, while the fire is unpredictable and destructive. Lava stone can be very strong and solid, perfect to make shaped stones, used to construct houses and buildings. If you would like to know more about that, you can watch the video from my travel to Armenia in 2021, where I talk and explain a lot about this basalt stone they use. Lava stone can however be also porous and very soft, which means it can absorb fine matter, such as liquid, oils and many other fluid aromas. Therefore it has been used in many historical events as a source of energy and power. Lava stone can withstand very high temperatures and retain heat for a long time. When a raw lava rock is heated through, it releases heat evenly and gradually. This makes it ideal for slow cooking and keeping food warm. And that's how many agent cultures and people used to prepare their meals or keep their food warm on hot lava stones. In ceremonies, like rituals, lava stone was used mainly for protection and courage, like ceremonial artifacts, or including beads like jewelry, masks, etc. They were made from lava rock, have been unearthed from archaeological sites across the world. Most lava stone is colored in shades of gray and black. Let me try to show you. This is black, but you see also a lot of red in between. And that's because the basalt stones are sometimes red, taking their color from oxidized iron minerals which are in the lava flow in the past. It is a very good base and source of minerals for new nature to grow. You see, this mountain is totally green. It's perfect soil because it contains a lot of minerals for new vegetation to grow, flowers, plants and trees especially wine and olives. That's why this region here is famous for its olives and wines. Now, enough of my talking, seven minutes of talking. Now, let me take you 
to the top of the mountain and enjoy the scenery. So the Etna Mount is behind. We are still climbing up, but here you can see more and more effects of the puffs that the lava made. And this one is from the 1993 and 1995 eruption, where the lava just streamed down and took its puff. Here you can see, of course, this, this, this forest or this bushes over here were burnt but start to regrow again and the lava took the path down here and everything you see here was just lava that very slowly went down the mountain it was really special so of course this road had to be reconstructed and that's the life over here it's for the locals a normal thing in life they call the Mount Etna also the mother that when the mother gets angry because the children in the city, Catania, whatever, like the people here are not behaving well, she says, it's time to erupt and I will show you to calm down. And that's what they do. They believe in it like the mother of Sicily taking care. And here you can see also again, the lava stream down. It stops here, of course, because there's a road and it went down the hill. Very, very nice example and view of how the lava just takes its path. And again, it didn't stream like water very quickly, only at the top, but here it went slowly, slowly, slowly. Sometimes, as said before, 100 meters per day. People had time enough to leave their houses. Of course, when the lava was here and it was streaming very slowly, it was still very, very, very hot. But not like fire, it was just like an enormous warm place. But as you see, it's cold down already because it's long ago. And this is all volcanic stone over here. This is a typical part of a lava stone that is full with minerals. As you can see, all those colors glittering. And it's for sale. So you can imagine this this one cost, I understood, around 300, 350 euros. Yes. This one probably less. But here you can see all the minerals inside. I'm staying here on the top of the lava stones which is a part of the eruption in 1993 and 1995 and I'm standing actually above the building this house was a three floor house the only thing you see left is the top part it was one two three floors down and there were several of those houses here and they are gone. The bottom part below, so this is just the top layer with its very rough lava as I explained in my video. Like, really like. It's, it's very light and rough stone, but below here is now massive stone formed by pressure. And that kind of stone is called basalt that they use to construct and that's what left from an old house. What is the stuff that is actually blowing into the air and falling down? It is this. This is what people have from time to time on their balconies in the cities. And it's very soft and porous and it's not dirty. Look. <laughs> and it's clean. It's very clean. This is the stuff. This is what falls down on your houses. It's like sand. And by the way, of course, very low here, there's natural water streams. And the water gets extremely well filtered. So the city water in Catania is very, very clean and full of minerals.
on the left and on the right you have different colors of lava and that black stuff over here is the ash. So we are not yet on the top because we are going still a few hundred meters higher. There's the top of the Etna and as you see those are clouds but this is the Etna ash. We're going up with this beautiful Unimog and let me show you a little bit of the place where we are now. It's absolutely beautiful and everything you see basically is lava and ash. this beast that's where we are going Hello, buongiorno Rufus. Okay. Tell me now Hello. where you are. Where I'm you going are? I'm to take you to the Etna. Etna. With this beautiful sheep. Let's see Etna mountain.
smoking. Ooh. This is no advertising and I'm not sponsored. But man, this car has power. Ooh. Ooh. So, we reached the top. We are very high. You can even see that the clouds are just moving here, as you can see. But that's not the most important. That's the Etna top. And this is the view. It's amazing. There's an Unimac coming. Oh, look. The clouds are just moving by. And if you can see very far, we are really high above the clouds. So once again, everything you see here is not lava that came down that way, but this is the stuff that fell down from the cloud. So it goes in the air and then like this, it fell down. This is, let's say, ash rain. That's what they call it as well. And then if you see, of course, those big blocks, not a joke, it also fell down like this stuff. Close to the Etna itself, you have even huge rocks that simply dropped like that. And earlier in the video, you saw the real big, massive area. That's the lava that came down. And from time to time, I will try to find it for you. You have the ones that are extremely shiny because of all the minerals inside. Yes, I found one over here as well. It's not visible on the video, but this one in specific, you see, and listen to the silence. So, the ash, kind of, then the lava streams hardens. This is the top layer. That is pure, massive. It's not porous like on the top. And that they use, they cut, and that's the basalt stone. Cons to construct houses, buildings, etc. It's a bit pity the clouds are as quick. They come and go, but there's another crater down there. And by the way, no joke, just got informed by our guide. Those just fell down. The biggest parts next to the crater. Explosion, the biggest parts fell down here. And down there it gets smaller. And this is part that probably also fell down. This is old lava. It exploded again, the lava broke and the stone just fell down here. It's not moved by anyone. That's how it goes.
this little thing you see over there, that's not a joke, that's coming from the ground. And these are clouds, of course. In May this year, there was a small eruption and still in the ground, it's super warm. It's unfortunately not visible now, but I can see it. Sometimes you can see that little line over there. You see, it's coming from the ground and these are clouds. And the white part you see over there is snow, a little bit. Ah, now you can see it very clear. This is coming from the ground. Now you can see it very clear. It really gives you the feeling that you're, I don't know, walking on a other planet. I will show you. This is all lava dust. And they just told me that when you dig like a few meters, the temperatures are already rising. Because inside it's still active. Welcome on the moon. Once more, there is an eruption. It goes up and it falls down like that. Almost there. Last steps. Wow. You must go faster. That is beautiful. So, of course, again, the clouds are passing, and this is a part of the cloud that stays. But here, it's the heat. It's hot air coming from the ground. As you can see. There. And there. And we are going there. Let's go. just warm air coming out. It's not hot, the stones are cold. It's very porous, but the air is warm. Let's check closer. 
beautiful colors. Maybe not so visible on the camera, but the stones are absolutely amazing. Look at this. It feels a bit warm here. Oh, and I can smell it. It's unbelievable, beautiful. Let me come close. So this is hot air coming from the ground very deep over here very very deep it's extremely hot hot air and a combination of moisture and water makes this area steam and if i can say it smells a bit moisture and a specific smell but it's absolutely not poisonous this is just just hot air like that. It's warm. That is hot. And there is water dropping. And this is massive. And this is soft. So this is one of the caves and if lava streams it can create holes under the ground and this is one of the caves that are discovered and we are going inside. Have a little light and there we go. I'm coming need to be careful because I'm recording and I'm walking and I need to check my oh that's dark lava man i am lava bo lava zaczęła spływać od góry do dołu aha najpierw spaliła to co jest tutaj na dole a dopiero potem Oh, yeah. this, is the fresh, this is the fresh lava on the top. So first it streams here, the hard stuff like the basalt, 
And on this is a different, and that's the top part. It's very interesting. And here you can also see it's very fragile, you see? It's, it falls down. And it's super hard as well. So I'll try to check it closer. You see? So this is very hard stuff. Wow. Let me see more inside. It's huge. I don't know where it goes. So those are the, you can, so this is basalt, so this is the massive, and on the top there is the more porous lava, although <laughs> very strong. So there's the entrance, and we are now around, I don't know, 30 meters inside. It's actually very pointy, as you see at the entrance, like that, it's the same over here, you see? It's like triangle style. It's like here and here and the bottom. So, and we are going there, up. Also here you can see it's a triangled. And I hear water falling down, which is good. It's very special to see this. Actually to add here, I'm talking in a cave and usually you have an enormous echo or echo uh, because the stone is massive and it's the, the, the skin or the top of the of the layer of the stone is usually very you know like flat here it's so uh, how you call it rough that there is absolutely no echo over here or echo so i can talk here normally without hearing my voice twice or three times now let me see if i can this is getting quite close over here i'm trying if i'm possible to show you how rough this oh here you can see that's lava and as it's not flat at all it doesn't echo because it catches the voice and it will not send the voice back you see so no echo at all so this is going down again here you can see the lava and stuff it's like, it looks so you know like it's super hard Wow, okay. That's enough for the video. Cheers. So we were just at the cave. Entrance is over there. And this is all on the top. So vegetation is growing. Plants, whatever. Even cactus is here. And that's the mountain, the volcano, that erupted hundreds of years ago and put the lava over here on the top of the ground. To give you a little contrast, that's the land, and there, in the far back, is Catania. In 1600s, as I told you in my first video, the lava went all the way to the seaside and extended the city in the seaside. In one of my first minutes of the video, you see a castle, a squared, simple building. That castle is standing now in the city, but before the 1600s, it was standing on the seaside. The lava extended the land, and now the city is built on top of the lava, or basalt.